Hi, this is that Five Tutorial Dudes, and today I'm going to show you a video on how to run the Android emulator. This is um for those who kind of want to see what their competitor looks like, which is the Android OS. It um it's kind of like a more you can go into more files there. It's kind of like having iFile already installed, so it, you can do a lot more with it than you can with this, but like I was saying, the apps really aren't there. The Apple app has a lot more apps. So, this is just an emulator for your computer. So you can just kind of look at it now. These There's a lot of roadblocks. It took me about seven hours to find out how to actually do this. So hopefully it will take you a lot less because I'm going to show you what not to do. So first off, you're going to download it from here. And if, if you want to waste eight hours, you can download this. But don't download this, please. Download this your own windows so then you're gonna download that and the first time you run the program which can be found inside of this inside of the folder that comes with it running the SDK manager there's a little symbol next to it this is the same for all um, Mac and Linux just run that and it's gonna tell you that you need to go to then you need to go to Java so it's gonna take you to this right here um, it's gonna have a link inside the program then you're going to download right here JDK make sure it's the 32 bit that'll take another hour of installing, uninstalling, and reinstalling so make sure you get the 32 bit version so now you're going to open up the program for the first time or for the second time, but this time it's actually going to open so it's going to open a command module up and you're just going to keep that open a little bit at first. Okay, here we go. So, the first time it's gonna, it's gonna actually not recognize your sources. So you're gonna go to settings, and see this little one right here. This is gonna be off, and see how it's gonna, um, it's gonna just error fail. See how it just failed right there. So you're gonna want to turn it on then you're gonna have to close it down and restart it and if you don't restart it, it um, so you're gonna check this and restart your just your app right here so that, that's how you get around that And now you're gonna go to available packages and you can see a bunch of stuff here it has a little bit more but I already installed some of them so I'll stay here now you can see all of them so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna check this and then you're gonna uncheck all of them except for the SDK platform Android and then the newest version. For me, the newest version is 2.3. I don't believe that that's been released yet to the public, but since we're quote unquote a developer, we can test out the new version. So you can also go back to 2.2 or something more reliable if you really want. It should be fine to go off the beta. So check mark all of them except for the SDK platform. Then click install selected. Then accept all. Then install. This will take a very long time, just so you know. So it's uh, it's gonna have to download and install this thing. So that th so that will take a long time to install. And once you're here, I have my SDK Android 2.3. It took a long time to install. So once you have it installed, <coughs> you're gonna go to virtual devices over here. And what you're gonna do is this is how you can make a device to so you can actually do the emulator. So you're gonna say no. Type in your name of your virtual device. It really doesn't matter what your name is. You're gonna choose the firmware that you installed. And this is just for SD card. This really doesn't make a difference. Two hundred's a good number. And then what you're going to do for the hardware, as you can see, there is a couple things. This doesn't actually affect what you do, this is just making it look different. If you do keyboard support, then you can just say okay. You can just do a couple things. This doesn't actually affect what happens on your computer. This is just like if your app has this, if you want to use battery support or something around, you can just say okay. So that's all that is really going to do and then you're going to say that create AVD it's going to load a little bit here so 
So you're going to say, okay. Now once you're done creating that, you can just start it right here. Say launch. And just like that, it's going to pop up with our emulator. So that's all you see. Here it is. Now it goes through the long process of starting, actually starting up the emulator. This, um, for my computer, I have a slower computer, so it's going to take a really long time for me. But for you people, it should be faster if you have a faster computer. So this, um, it'll just boot your thing up. Just be patient. Um, so this is how you get the Android emulator. It even has a dialing stuff. It doesn't actually work though, because it doesn't have a SIM card or anything or a carrier, but it has just all the same stuff that your Android phone would come with. So that's just um, all there is to it. Um, I hope you enjoy. And um, if you are, if you're not, if you're not, if you're not really that serious about it, um, don't do this. It's taking, it takes a long time and it takes up about 200 megabytes worth of space in your computer, probably more. So this just, this is just if you want to see the thing. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to rate, subscribe, comments if you have any questions. And thanks for watching. Hope it helped.